Coming away from a narcissistic relationship is devastating. Being raised by narcissistic parents is heartbreaking and rightfully so. There's a lot of negativity surrounding these relationships. Now, for some people, it helps to recognise the things that these kinds of relationships teach you as a benefit step, step towards your future. For other people, especially in the early stages, this isn't for them as they're still processing all the pain and suffering that they have been through. However, narcissistic people do teach you several things. The narcissist's manipulative nature with their inflated sense of self-importance often leaves long-lasting negative impacts on those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. However, amidst this despair and turmoil and heartbreak, that they cause, that the narcissist causes to the individuals around them, they do unintentionally teach us several things. And one of the first things they teach us is who our true friends are, who our true family members are. Now this can be devastating when the narcissist is smearing our name to people and people who we thought were our friends take the narcissist's side. We have to remember that narcissists are very skilled at the art of manipulation and getting people to believe their lies. However, we do begin to recognise who our true friends are and who those people are who we need to no longer confide in. They also teach us how to detach from those toxic individuals who leave us frustrated and depressed and drained and anxious. They teach us, and it's a hard lesson, however, they do teach us how to detach ourselves from those toxic people. We also learn from the experience to identify gaslighting. Narcissists are the experts of manipulating other people and when we become so focused on learning everything we've been through to gain that understanding, we get the understanding of gaslighting so that other people are no longer able to gaslight our reality. Yes, this is something that should be taught from an early age. However, currently it isn't. They teach us to build resilience and it is not a pleasant lesson to learn because they come at us with relentless criticism and belittlement which erodes our self-esteem and erodes our self-worth and we do have to build ourselves back up which is a game of strong desire and persistence to go for something and keep going until we rebuild our confidence. Narcissistic people, again, a difficult lesson to learn, teach us how to listen and trust within our instincts. Those things where it kind of pops up and we think, ooh, that feels a bit icky, mm, that doesn't seem quite right, but we just skirt over that issue and go with the flow. And then later down the line, we think, I recognise that, I knew that but we didn't know it at the time. So we learn to listen to our intuition. We can often feel a bit daft listening to our intuition. However, once we've gone against it and then later down the line, recognise the lesson it taught us, we can learn to pay attention to it in our future. Personal growth, self-reflection, evaluation of ourselves. Narcissistic people do tend to pin a lot of the blame on us and we do tend to take responsibility for things that aren't our fault. However, in that ability to be able to take responsibility, we're able to evaluate ourselves and learn and grow and develop as a person, develop that personal growth. And if something isn't growing, inevitably it's dying. Therefore, that personal growth actually helps us to gain that desire to achieve our goals, to learn, to explore. And one of the most important lessons to learn and a painful lesson to learn is the value of 
boundaries. It's not always easy saying no, especially when you've been raised by narcissistic parents or raised to people please others. It's very challenging to say no to other people for fear of rejection. However, learning the art and the value of boundaries, even if that's the boundaries you need around those toxic people, which is emotional, physical and psychological distance. Narcissistic people cause a lot of damage to those unfortunate enough to cross paths with them. And when we can find the lesson to navigate ourselves through the recovery, it can lead to a better future for us. These are not easy lessons. Life tends to be a lot of suffering and we can either go with that suffering and with that pain or we can find the things that we can gain from an experience so that we can find pleasure and happiness again.